Good morning, people of God. Thanks so much for joining Health and Whole Men's Prayer Group. I am Seth, and I hope that this week has been a wonderful week for each of you. And we're simply here to do one thing, that is to pray. Let's go before the throne of grace. Father God, we just thank you. We praise and bless your name for all that you've done this week, God. You've brought us through once again. God, sometimes we couldn't see our way. However, you were just right on time. You were right there. God, we thank you. Hallelujah for that. God, we come with our open hearts and sincere heart today, asking that you will lead us and guide us in your willing way. God, we have no idea what this day holds. We have no idea what's ahead. We have no idea what will happen in the next moment, the next hour. But God, you do. So God, we're praying unto you, O God, asking that you will lead us and guide us. Yes, O God. Lead us and guide us on this Saturday. God, forgive us of all sins that we've come against you, O God. Help us to deny ourselves, O God. Help us to just be vulnerable with you. Lord, I know a lot of times it's hard to be vulnerable with people because when we put ourselves in harm's way sometimes that we feel like we're going to get hurt because we're open and honest uh, with others, oh God. But I pray this morning that you will lead and guide us, that you will focus us, oh God, on just learning how to trust you, learning how to love you, learning what to do and when to do, oh God. Help us, oh God to love you in a new way. God, help us to take you out of the ordinary box of life. And God, we pray this morning, God, that you will give us your will and give us your way for what you're doing, oh God. Lord, we don't know, hallelujah. We don't know. And I believe that's the biggest reason that so many of us are frustrated and threatened, oh God, because we don't know. Lord, help us to know that when we don't know, you do know. And God, just because it's been delayed, it is not, hallelujah, denied. God, help us to focus on you, O oh God. Lord, as we develop that intimacy with you, O oh God, that you will reveal to us what you will have us to do, that you will show us, that you will open up the windows of heaven, O oh God, and pour us out what we need. A lot of times we have no idea. God, I can remember even moving into this house, Lord. I had no idea I wanted to be here. Although you have revealed it to my wife, I had no idea until I got here, until I came into the house and the presence of God began to overtake me. And just because it may not look like something that we want, hallelujah, I hear this in my heart today. Just because that thing doesn't look like something that you want right now, God knows what you need and he knows how and what to supply at the very moment, oh God. So I ask that you will open up your heart to God, that you will open up your, your focus, oh God, uh, to help us to focus, help us to understand what you're wanting us to do, oh God. Lord, help us to pray without ceasing. God, I was just talking to my son. My son said, uh, you shouldn't say thank you, thank you, thank you, because that's vain repetition. What child says that's vain repetition uh, for you to say thank you, thank you, thank you? And I begin to express to him. Sometimes we just get excited in our hearts and sometimes we just want to make sure that we're encouraged. So sometimes we say thank you just because we want to be encouraged. So it's OK to say thank you and uh, use that and it wasn't talking about that son in that vain repetition of thank you because we're praising God. Lord, I just thank you for this just this moment, this this opportunity to pray. And God, as I look uh, even through uh, notes and look through the word this morning, God, how you just dealt with me regarding prayer, uh, just being consistent in prayer. A lot of us, we give up way too soon. And when we give up way too soon, we're frustrated with God. <laughs> we're frustrated with him because we gave up too soon. God, help us not to be distracted. Uh, I remember running, and I'm not much of a runner now, but I know uh, Mike is on, and he, he knows and understands this probably better than any of us since he runs marathons all the time. But even in running a marathon, there is a pace uh, timer. And that person, if you run with that person, that person will keep the pace for you so you can be on target at mile one, mile 20. 
They're keeping the pace. They're keeping the pace. But the problem happens, hallelujah, when we don't see the pace runner. When we don't see the pace runner, we begin to panic. We begin to do things that we would normally do uh, because now we're beginning to cramp because now we're trying to run faster and catch the pace runner. And we just need to slow down and allow our bodies to lead and guide us. And so we, we focus on trying to catch up. And as we catch up, we, we catch a cramp or a muscle spasm and we can't continue on because we're trying to run at a pace that is not ours. Sometimes I feel God showing me this is that some of you are running at a pace that you should be running at. And so you you've become discouraged by what they are doing. And since they are going this fast and they are they are being blessed with this, you feel like you should be doing that. And then some of us, um, as we get to this point of fellowship with God, we know, hallelujah, that we've fallen out of fellowship with God. And Lord, as we have falling out of fellowship with you, now we're trying to do you like we would do a Netflix episode or series. We're trying to binge watch. We're trying to get everything in, hallelujah, in a, a small window. And as we we overload on just trying to read the Bible and trying to go to church and trying to get our faith together, we become discouraged. I want to encourage you today that it's okay to take small steps. It is okay uh, that you haven't been to church in a while. It's okay that you haven't read, but the problem is that you will stay there. You have to work your way out of that. You have to begin to focus on how can I get back into right relationship? So I want to pray that God will continue to encourage you. So God, thank you. We praise and bless your name, oh God. Lord, as we as we focus on prayer, Lord, Help us not to grow weary in well-doing, oh God. Lord, help us to know and understand that we need you, oh God. And as we pray consistently towards you, oh God, that you do hear us. And just because you say no at one time doesn't mean that it is no forever. But you are wanting to get our attention. You are wanting us to hear you in a different way. God, help us to be patient, Lord Jesus, to find our pace in you, O oh God. Lord, if we just start with a couple scriptures a day, Lord, we have a, we have more scriptures than we had on the previous day. Lord, help us to start somewhere. And Lord, I'm praying this morning for consistency, not only with your people, but we need this in our world, that people need to be people of their word. We need people that are going to be faithful instead of faithless, oh God. Lord, we are becoming discouraged because people are failing us. And so we're putting you in that box and saying, Lord, you're going to fail us because my mom failed me or my spouse failed me. God, help us not to put you, yes, Lord Jesus, into a box where you're going to be uh, denied or you can't do something for us. Oh God, help us to understand, hallelujah to your name. Help us to understand, yes, Lord, that you can do anything, oh God, that you cannot fail, God, that you will win, oh God. It doesn't matter how dark it is, oh God. Help us to realize that you, yes, Lord Jesus, will win. And we will win if we trust you, oh God. If we give our all to you, oh God. If we release whatever we're holding, yes, oh God tight to, oh God, that, that secret sin that no one knows about, God. I'm praying for uh, your people to release those things, oh God. Lord, it's only anyway that grace that you didn't reveal who we are. So God, I pray that you will strengthen my sister and strengthen my brother to release the thing that is holding them back from you, oh God. Hallelujah. That they can be more consistent in you. I've had those vices, I've had those things that are holding me back from God. And once God revealed them to me, I began to do this one thing is to release them. And as I released them to him, I was no more deceived. Hallelujah. I was no more frustrated because then and only then 
God began to make a way out of no way. So God, I just thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, oh God, for making a way. That's what I hear in my heart. I can even hear that song, keep on making a way over and over again. Lord, you just keep doing it over and over again. God, I just thank you for that. Lord, when I get into those 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 thankful moments, oh God, as I think about where I was uh, in that place of deception, I begin to thank you, oh God. When I figure out where I was when I, I didn't trust you with my finances, God, then I begin to thank you, oh God. When I begin to think about my prayer life when it was nothing, when I didn't spend time with you, when I depended on my skill set, Lord, I begin to thank you because you have done a total change in your brother. And God, I just thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, because you were the one. And so you get glory, you get praise, you get honor in my life, oh God. It is not me. Uh, as, as you begin to bless, oh God, as you have done things time after time, God, I want to give you your glory. Hallelujah. I want to give you your praise because I know that you are El Shaddai, oh God, your Elohim, oh God, you are everything that I need. And so, God, I'm praying that our people, your people, will call upon you, oh God, when those moments are dim. Yes, Lord Jesus. When those times that they've lost their way, hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. That they will begin to trust you, oh God, in a new way, in a, in a fresh, oh God, when things become unsavory in our lives, oh God, that then we will begin to trust you, oh God. Lord, I love how you use those in the Bible that nobody knew of, oh God, that they didn't have a special recognition, oh God, but you you chose the deep and the downtrodden, oh God. And I believe it was simply an example for us that there's nothing too bad that you cannot save. God, when I even think of David and the things that he done outwardly, oh God, and even had a man killed because he wanted his wife. And it was so interesting to me that his heart was still in the right place, that his heart was there. And so since his heart was in the right place, you begin to change who he was. He began to accept that he had committed a crime against you, oh God. And as you revealed it to him, he began to cry out, hallelujah. He began to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, show me what to do and how to do, oh God. And as he cried, hallelujah, out of the depths of his heart, you begin to deal with him, oh God. And now we even know him that as the man that was after your heart, oh God. Lord, even though the things that he did would have been frowned upon, even today, that we would have cast him out. He was one of the greatest kings, oh God simply because he gave his heart to you, O oh God. Lord, as I pray this morning, God, I pray that we will give up all, yes, Lord Jesus, that our hearts will be in the right place, O oh God, so we can be those usable vessels. Even when people say you are no good, that you can never do those things. You are beneath who we thought you were anyway, that we don't even want you on the team, oh God, that we are never too lost. We're never too downtrodden for you, oh God, that you could still use us. There is hope. Hallelujah. There is hope today for that person that feel that their situation is hopeless. God, do it for your glory, oh God. Hallelujah. Do it for your glory, oh God. And I pray that there are testimony after testimony of people trusting you, oh God. So those that have lost the faith, those that have never heard your word will hear the testimony and become encouraged and even intrigued, oh God, by what must I do to have a testimony like that in Christ? That we will begin to show them that we are the church, oh God. And if we live a life, yes, oh God, if we live a life that is for you, oh God, that you can touch even that lost one, oh God. Help us to be examples today, Lord Jesus. Help us, oh God, to be the example that you're calling for in the church. Help us to be the example of the one that will pray, oh God, for our sister and the brother that's lost, oh God, that we know that's doing wrong, oh God, to even call him up, oh God, and 
in love, correct them in the way that you will have us to correct them. Not to condemn them, oh God, not to judge them, but simply give them the word of encouragement that they don't have to continue what they're doing. They don't have to continue to walk in that way. And God, we believe that not only that their lives will be changed, but their lives will touch even others, that we begin to leave a legacy of prayer. God, I am so thankful even for the father that you put into my life. And although we are coming close to three years since he's been gone, I thank you for the legacy of prayer that he left. I thank you that that legacy is now being passed to my son to pray in anything and in everything, oh God. Lord, and I'm praying that you will do it in his son and his son or his daughter. God, that you will touch the entire bloodline of our family, that we will continue, hallelujah, to pray. Lord, help us never to forget the power of prayer. I remember sending a post last night on Facebook saying that it is never too late that God will leave the light on for you. So since he will leave the light on for you, I'm praying this morning that in any dim situation, any situation that it seems like the light is off, that we will go to our God and he will answer us. God, we just give you glory and we give you praise this morning for this time and this opportunity to come before your presence. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, people of God, I've given you what God has given me, simply that it is time to pray. It is time to get before him, even when times look dim, to focus on him in a new way and in a fresh way, and not to become deceived by what we see, but simply to be transformed by what God can do. Help us, help us, help each other not to focus on the things that we see, but help us to focus on what God can do. I believe we can do that today. I believe that you can do it for your brother. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, let me pray over you before we get out of here. Father God, we just thank you for those that have gathered. We thank you for those hearts that were open to receive what thus said the Lord. God, I pray even for my consistency to continue the work that you've called me to do. It doesn't matter if it's 1,000 or whether it's one. God, help me to do the work that you've called for me to do. And God, I pray that same prayer over each person that will view this, that whatever you call them to do, whether they have to go by themselves or not, God, that they will do what you've called them to do in Jesus name. God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, I pray, pray that you will go with each person here. God, that they will have this day to seize, oh God, that they will be accomplished on this day, that they will get things done that they felt like they could get done on this day because they trusted in the all sufficient one. And until we meet again, I pray that you will bless them in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Well, until next time, be healthy, be whole, be blessed is my prayer for each of you. I look forward to connecting with you next week. Have a great week.